Accurate measuring is important, especially if your home is older and the door opening is not a standard size. Storm doors mount on the brick mold. That's the outer trim that goes around the border of the door jamb. To get the correct measurements, I've removed the old door. There were two side pieces and a top piece that were mounted to the brick mold. Measure two faces of the brick mold. In most cases, you need a minimum of one inch of flat mounting surface. Best practice is to verify how much surface is needed for the door make and model being purchased. The brick mold's wood also needs to be in good condition. Screws will be driven into it and the wood has to support the storm door. Measure the width of the opening between the brick mold faces. Do this at three locations and record the smallest measurement. This is the width of the door opening. To determine the height of the opening, measure between the sill and the top brick mold at three places. Record the smallest measurement. Check the specs for the make and model of the door. If the measurements don't fall in the range of the standard sizes, you'll have to order a custom door. If the exterior door's handle and the storm door's handle will be on the same side of the opening, measure the jam to ensure that there's enough space that the handles won't hit each other when both doors are closed. I hope you find this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.